This is part two of me answering your questions on Oxford University and Cambridge University mathematics admissions. A question I get asked a lot is, what score should I be getting in the mathematics admissions test in order to get an offer from the University of Oxford? The short answer is there is no specific score. Let me elaborate. I'm currently on the maths admissions test website where they've got all the past papers. You've probably seen this before. Uh, and the column I'm interested in is this third one. It says mu1, mu2, mu3. Uh, mu1 is the average score of the students who sat the mat that year. Uh, and then mu2 is the average of those who got uh, invited to the interview round and mu3 is the average of those who then went on to get an offer and if we look at this third column here you know we've got about 75 ish maybe 80 this year 69 72 you know and it varies and if you go down we've got a few which are like 60 down here um so that may be a little bit of an odd year but yeah so around 75 to 80 seems to be the mean of those students who are getting offers but if you know anything about statistics, that doesn't really paint the whole picture because um, there will be students on both ends, students who got higher than 77.4, uh, students who got lower than 77.4, but also um, the, this is, I find this statistic actually quite frustrating. Don't get me wrong, it's a good benchmark, but there's also the interviews that come into play and there's not really any information about the interview scores that these students got. So it's not like you can just do well in the mathematics and measurements test and then you know, if your interview is rubbish, you might still get an offer. You have to do well in both. So I know students who have got higher than 95 in the mathematics admissions test and didn't get offers. Uh, and that's because they really messed up their interview. So it's not like they're, this is not a pass mark. And I think that's a trap that most students fall into when they're preparing for the maths admissions test is they use this score almost as if I get higher than this score, I've got an offer. I know I certainly used to do that and I was quite bad for it. So when I was preparing, I remember doing this like Matt 2012 paper and I think I got 72 when I did it, I marked it. I was like, yes, that means I've got an offer. But obviously it doesn't really mean anything. It just means that if I'd sat the maths admissions test in that year, um, I would have got uh, higher than the average score of students who ended up getting an offer. But I cannot stress enough that the interview is also really important. So the longer answer is, what score should I be getting? You should just be aiming for as high a score as possible, which I realize is kind of like, okay, how does that help me? Of course, I need to aim for as high a score as possible. But in terms of your preparation, what can you be doing in order to achieve that? Well, the be one thing I find quite useful is when you're doing these past papers, or it doesn't necessarily need to be past papers, just any form of preparation, whatever that is, you'll find a common theme of styles of problems or types of problems that you personally find difficult or you struggle to score well on or struggle to really understand the concepts of that's the stuff that maybe you go okay now i need to spend some extra time focusing on my preparation of this why is it that this problem i struggle to solve what was it in this problem that caused difficulty for me and go away have a think about those problems um maybe learn some more techniques on those and that will slowly increase your admissions test score i mean don't get me wrong it's not to say that you know if you get like a really low score in the maths admissions test you're probably going to struggle to get to the interview round. like if i got 20 marks in the maths admissions test unless there was some sort of extenuating circumstances i probably wouldn't be getting invited through to the interviews so you definitely want to be getting at least like a bare minimum of around 50 marks um don't get me wrong if you're at this stage where you're you know six seven months away from the maths admissions test and you're not getting 50 that's not a worry um you could you know you still have plenty of time but that's the kind of like almost bare minimum but i don't want to i almost don't want didn't want to say that because i don't want to set that as a target the target should be to get 100 uh, you want to be getting as many marks as possible because at the end of the day the higher the score you get the higher your chances are of getting in but i wanted to stress that this is not a pass mark this is um just an average it is just an average nothing else um so hopefully that answers that question do let me know if you have any other questions about oxford or cambridge mathematics admissions in the comments down below i'd love to answer anyway thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one have a great day